Hey guys, you're watching Shimon Anani. My name is AJ, and we are back on an episode of creating Paradise Island. I nearly got it wrong. I've done a little bit of off camera work. I don't do that much off camera work on this series because it's quite quite a laid back series. I'm enjoying it. And uh, but I have taken away all of this sand that was here. Everything that was dirt, or pretty much everything that was dirt here, uh, was sand. At one point, it was like a giant sand mound. And I said I didn't really like the look of that. I don't like. I don't mind having like a sandy beach, but I don't like having sand inland. I think it looks a little bit weird in some places. There, it looks quite cool, but I don't like it there. So that's going to have to be changed to dirt uh, and a couple of other spots. But it looks so much better, especially when that becomes grass fully. It looked like a really nice grass mound. Anyway, let's get down here. What time is it? Okay, sun is setting, so we'll get ready to sleep. I do want to say, guys, uh, it's not going to be too long until this series has ended. I know. The shock on your faces when I said that. Um, don't worry, it's not like a, a three episode or one episode warning. This is the last episode. No, no, no. Um, but we are sort of coming towards completion. There's, I've still got a list of things that we need to do. Today we're going to be building a treehouse. Uh, but I don't want to destroy the island. That was... That was the uh, sort of sub-goal of this series, was to have a jungle island and to keep it a jungle island. I don't want to have... Uh, I, I don't want to cut down all the trees and end it being a giant village. That's not what I want. That's not my paradise. And this series is all about creating... Can I not eat? What? Thank you. <laughs> what on earth is this? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Um, yeah, the, the whole point of this series is creating your own paradise. If your paradise is to completely de destroy uh, the the island and make it exactly how you want, then that's fair enough. But for me, I want to keep as much of a jungle as I can. Obviously, we're finishing off this horseshoe. We need to do that. And I've got a few ideas on how to do that now. And, uh, and a treehouse is today's goal. Hopefully, to complete the treehouse. So let's grab some wood. And let me get comfy as well. And if I see any mobs, I will be killing them because we need the XP now uh, for naming villagers. So, what do we want? Oh, i got one of these I can place down on the way. What wood do we want to make it out of? Like, do we want jungle wood? Depends how much we've got of each. We've got a little bit of spruce here, but I'm not sure if that's even going to be enough. Oh, I've got... You know, would a spruce look good? I think a spruce would look better than jungle wood. And you know what? I'm going to take some oak ones up just in case. And some fences for windows. And do we want a door on it? I don't think we really want a door on it. Is there anything else that we might think would be cool? Oh, yeah. Jungle leaves. I'll bring up some jungle leaves. Do we have any more of those? I don't think we do. Just to cover up some of it to make it look a little bit more uh, naturalized. No, I haven't got any more. Any other stuff that we might need. I don't want glass in it. That's not going to be a good idea for me. I'll bring up some stairs and I'll bring up some slabs. Seeing as though we've got them, it'll save me making more. And I'll also bring up a crafting table because that's just a smart idea all the time, isn't it? <laughs> bring a crafting table wherever you go. Believe me, it's going to save a lot of time. And I think what I'll also do eventually is I think I'm going to actually remove... Uh, I'm doing it on that tree. I was thinking about on that tree, but it's too... It's got too many branches coming off it, too many trees around it. I think up there would look the nicest. Uh, but I think we'll take out the vines, or at least one row of vines, and then replace them with a ladder. And I think that would be better. Now we can, we should be able to access this. Hey guys, all four of you. We should be able to access this through our house here. So if I just put down this crafting table here for the minute. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> doing all of that sand, that sand mound. I went through so many shovels. It was ridiculous. Uh, I was so surprised how many you, you go through just by... Um... Hey, why can I place that there? Oh, I was going to say. Um, just by, like, taking out... It wasn't even that much that much dirt. I mean, I've got all the sand on me. It was, like, nearly four stacks of sand. But it seemed to just last forever. Okay, that isn't the one. That is the tree. Okay, if that's the tree, I'm going to have to go back and get some more jungle wood. Let's um, get that purple back. Oh, no. 
No, that purple can stay there. I need these ladders back, though. <laughs> this is not easy. Yeah, how many, how much jungle wood do we need then? We need a uh, four, eight, twelve. <clears throat> I think we've got twelve. If we don't, we can just cut down uh, a small jungle tree in the area. But I don't really want to do that. That was the last thing I wanted to do. Uh, I've got two. I need ten more. Hmm. <laughs> I got a feeling this isn't going to go so well. I've also got a feeling that I've missed some. I swear there was more than two when I looked at first. Nope. That's about it. What about in these chests down here in our backup storage? Have I got any food in here? No. Uh, we must have some in here, right? Yeah, jungle wood there. That's all we need. Wonderful. There is quite a lot of jungle wood in there. I always forget about those chests. Okay. Jump. Let's head back up here then. So the junk, the, the tree house, I would really like to keep the tree house not, not super basic, but I want to keep it uh, a, a normal tree house sort of look. You guys are going to have to come out of here unless I do something like, oh, you're coming out. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. If I do something like that. And then light that up. That looks okay, doesn't it? It's like the, the tree comes down and then through it. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll go up here. I think these villagers can climb it. So, we're going to have to be careful for that. We'll keep an eye on it. I think they can anyway. And then... There we go. So, we can just climb straight up like that. And then... How do I want to... Get up there? I think... We'll go up. Oh, this is so hard to do on a tree. Um, no, I can't. We found out we can go ladders to vines. We can't go vine to ladder. That's a really strange... I don't know if it's a bug or if it's deliberate or what, but vines have a lot smaller hitbox than a ladder. So they get in your way like this. Oh, no. It's the other way around, isn't it? But they get in your way. It's very, very strange. Okay, this seems like a pretty good area to start a tree house. A pretty good height. So let's take away these leaves here. Let's get some um, spruce wood. That's what we're going to use for it. A nice dark wood. And just start building a rough area here. If we go on the side of that hitbox. Yeah. Um, we'll go around the tree first. Yeah, I've got an idea on how I want this to look. Like the shape of it. Not quite sure what materials we're going to make each bit out of. though. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that happening a lot. <laughs> get used to that this episode. Okay, out this side. As soon as we get a little platform down, we'll suddenly be a lot safer. Okay, so that's like a platform, a small platform around the tree. I want the platform to be smaller on this side and bigger on this side. So let's, let's see how big we can actually go without it looking weird. So... Anything bigger than this is a bonus. So I think we're going to add one more to there. Woo! Nearly fell. And then this side, we might even come out three blocks. That's two blocks. And then we come out a third one. That's so cool being able to see the villagers wander around. That's, a, that's something that Minecraft sort of has, but is lacking, right? Everybody in Minecraft has built a village. I don't know of a single person that hasn't built a village at some point in Minecraft. If it be a villager, a village with villagers, or if it just be an old abandoned village that has nothing in it, everybody's done it. You know, everybody's built like a group of houses together that classes as a village. And in Minecraft, there is the sort of ability to bring life to the villager, villagers with uh, how we've done it, you know, with, with villagers and you can even name tag them now and stuff like that. Oh, it's the first time I've seen him down there. That's really cool. Uh, but there isn't really much life that you can bring to Minecraft. You know, they can't use anything really. Uh, it takes a lot of setting up and a lot of complicated things to actually get them to do anything that is sort of worthwhile. And that's a bit of a shame. <clears throat> on uh, the Simpsons series, we're using a mod on there called Custom NPCs. 
and that's quite cool because that actually allows you to program and we haven't done any of it yet but uh, you can actually program the villagers to do certain things uh, you can program them to walk about uh, you can make them walk about but only in a certain area you can make them go to certain places certain buildings certain coordinates at specific points in the day and it's very complicated they they've done it as simply as they possibly could but it's still not like easy to do but it would be really cool if minecraft itself like the vanilla version of the game put in something simple like that that could actually bring more life to uh to minecraft that that's something that i would be really really interested in it doesn't have to be anything crazy but just like a little bit of programming okay i love this sort of design with the logs i think we're going to go with logs above it as well so, uh, or maybe no we'll put another layer of these blocks above it this is going to be a cool looking tree house a better tree house than on alien craft i think i like the alien craft one with the skulls but it wasn't really it's not really big enough to do anything but the tree itself wasn't huge so we couldn't really do all that much with it could we but I still I like the entrance up into that tree house on alien craft like the um, the way that you have to like get up a few logs climb a ladder up to another few logs and sort of almost like semi parkour your way through I really did like that I really do like that so get okay, that there just put some torches up okay and then we're gonna put windows in here so we're gonna have logs above it so I think we can probably go with two by two windows is my dog gonna bark we could put a big window in along here, seeing as though it's the front of the island. Yeah. Someone's just um, visiting my house. And I've got my dog <coughs> joining me today. Oh, voice. <coughs> I've got my, jo my dog joining me today. Uh, he's laying down with me. He's looking out the window at the moment. And uh, he's, he's one of these dogs that he's scared of everything. Like, he's scared of his own shadow. But as long as he's behind a window or behind a fence... Uh, he'll happily bark and bark and bark and let people know that they shouldn't be here. It's quite funny, really. Uh, I'm going to put one more window, just a small window on the side over here. <coughs> you know, I might put a bed up here as well. We've got the wool to do it. My voice is a little bit croaky because I haven't been up all that long. I've been up only about um, just over an hour, I think. I know that seems really weird to some people, but I'm... Oh, no, I left the gate open. Did I? I need to. I can't see the villager tags at night time. Oh, hopefully the villager didn't walk through there. I saw the villager was down here. I can't see why he would want to go out and t unless he wanted to go to the stake place, which has got a door on it. Has that got a door on it over here? Uh, I think it might. It might not. How many name tags have we got? I can see four. Yeah, that's all of them, isn't it? Okay, we're good. Oh, let's build a bed while we're here. We'll take that up with us. Get some wool. Uh, white wool. <laughs> I always use white wool. I don't know why. Uh, 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 boop. Okay, back up. Back up we go. How's it looking from down here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. And then we put logs along the top of that. And then a layer of spruce above that. And that's going to look really really nice and then we need to support it from underneath and i've got some cool ways to do that uh sort of old school method what's that doing there old school methods that i used to use on the first season of zonocraft um if you're a new subscriber or if you're if you're fairly old subscriber but you weren't around at the time of the season one of zonocraft uh season one of zonocraft was uh when jungles first came out and obviously when jungles first came out, everybody wanted to build on them, including me. So we made a ginormous jungle village. It was absolutely huge. And uh, turned out really well in the end. It became very, very same old, same old, if you know what I mean. The, the materials that we were using were the same because we wanted it to look, um, uh, you know, we, we wanted it to have a sort of uniform look throughout the village. But that meant using the same blocks and the same building style for the entire series. And uh, I ended up getting a little bit bored of it in the end. And then so many updates, or, or then a, quite a few updates, 
came out in a very short amount of time. Oops, I didn't want jungle wood. Uh, 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 quite a few updates came out in a very short amount of time, meaning that the world that I had done Xenocraft Season 1 on sort of became useless because all of the updates to biomes and seeds and generation of villages and temples and all that kind of stuff um, we knew that we're either out or coming out very sh soon. So we decided to make a new seed uh, for Xenocraft Season 2. Which is still going strong. And I think is now... Uh, or Xenocraft is definitely the series that has been going on the longest. Um, I think Let's Build a City has had more episodes in that season than Xenocraft Season 2. But apart from that, I think Xenocraft as a named title is our longest running series but when this series does run out i think in all honesty guys i'll be honest with you here i think this series will will end around 30 episodes if not dead on 30 episodes i think 30 episodes would be a lovely number to to stop on um and i think that's roughly where it's going to come to an end where we're going to finish everything off I don't want to overpopulate the place. I don't want it to look weird. Uh, it's my own paradise island. And uh, when I've cre when I've got to the paradise that I want, obviously that we're going to stop. We're not going to want to do any more, are we? It just would be silly otherwise. Um, so I think 30 episodes is probably going to be where it finishes. And then after that 30 episodes is done, what I would really like to do is still do probably another minecraft series but a minecraft series that is shorter all my minecraft series and it's my fault for doing this but all of my minecraft series are always extremely long let's build a uh theme park let's build springfield zonocraft is very long um you know, all, all, all of our Minecraft series that we've really ever done have been very long series. And although that's really great for me because I really enjoy them and you guys really enjoy them. For new subscribers, it can be a little bit tricky. Oh yeah, that's looking great. I love that. That can be a little bit tricky because they don't know quite what's going on. Uh, they can get a little bit confused about what's being said sometimes. And I would love to have... I'm going to use these blocks. And uh, I would like uh, to be able to include them and include new subscribers all the time by doing shorter series. You know, the Factions has ended, uh, Prison has ended, both of those were sort of around 10 episodes in length. And that was a good length. I sort of liked the sort of 10 episode style series, just like mini series. Maybe we'll do some adventure maps, some puzzle maps. Uh, possibly if we were going to do that then we'd have to go back onto the 360 or uh, do it on PC maybe just some some shorter series in general that that, that uh, aren't maps as such but are just shorter style things um, we'll have to have a think about it obviously we've got city skylines going as well which is a non minecraft series I would also like to have a few other uh, or, or that slot would probably always be kept as a non minecraft slot uh, for the people that just want something a little bit different than Minecraft. I'm the same. I, I like to have uh, non-Minecraft related uh, series sometimes. Just because we all play a lot of Minecraft. It's nice to have something different. So that slot will always be uh, non-Minecraft. I would like to thank you again though on that series. About how much support I'm getting. Uh, I didn't expect to have that much support. Uh, on a non minecraft series, but you guys are really really enjoying it if you haven't checked it out You don't know what you're missing everyone's loving it, and uh, I'm really really enjoying it, too So be sure to go and check it out if you have not already. Okay, so these are like little um, uh, Little posts if you like to hold up uh, the the um... oh, I'm using wood damn it <laughs> These are like little posts to hold up the treehouse so we're going to go, oop, not that way. I always get the confused in the direction. So we put these underneath. Is that the right way? That is wonderful. And then along here. Treehouse tutorial. This will always make any treehouse look absolutely amazing, I promise you. Okay, and then we knock this down. We stand back. Oh, no, let's put our, our bed in there. 
And uh, what else would we want in a treehouse? Obviously, we don't want a... Um, it's got lovely headroom in here, doesn't it? Go away. Look at all the headroom we've got in here. Oh, I like the uh, the greenery on the inside here as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so we put a bed down. I'm going to make another crafting table. I know I've got one at the bottom there, but I don't want to go downstairs. <laughs> and then we make a pressure plate uh, in redstone. There we go. And we're going to put... Everything has to be wood in here. No furnace. It's not wood. It's a. This is a tree house. Everything's got to be made out of wood, doesn't it? Uh, maybe some stairs. Oh, I got stairs. Uh, we no, we want oak. A different wood for this. And then we'll put like a nice little uh, chair in here. Oh, that stands out really well against the spruce. Yeah, nice big sofa. Um, I don't really know what else we would need. Maybe some item frames with the horse armor that we got. We could put that in there. That would give it a place, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's go down here. Have a look at this episode's masterpiece. <laughs> this artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, those, um, uh, those poles that hold the treehouse up, it makes it look so much more realistic. We've got the leaves over the top, growing over the top as well to give some... Uh, a little bit of depth, a little bit of detail to it. I really, really like that. And I like how we've got one just a little bit higher than the other. That's a really, uh, a really subtle detail that I like. Yeah, I like that. Definitely. Great addition. Let's go up the top here, like how we was at at the beginning of the episode. And see how our village is getting on. We've got the, uh, the hot air balloon. Uh, I think we're probably... Hmm, I might build another tree house there next episode, slightly different style, and then a bridge, like a, a drop down bridge that, uh, what would you call it, like a wooden suspension bridge that sort of hangs and loops, do you know what I mean, from, from diagonally from there to there, that could look really cool, especially like dynamically over the top of this pond, I would love how that looks, yeah, hot air balloon, everything's coming on, everything's coming on real nice. I'll tell you what, before we end off the episode, I'm going to plant down a couple more uh, sugar cane. I've got one in my inventory, and I see that a couple of them have grown. Uh, how do I get in here easily? Oh, a villager could easily get out there, couldn't he? A villager could so easily get out there. And could get out there as well. We need a leaf. Just any leaf will do. Wonderful. Close that up. Wow, that's lucky that they didn't get out of there, actually. That has to go there. That goes there. Yeah, now, because villagers can't run and jump, so they can't get up there anymore. Yeah, we're good. Uh, looks like the only way to get to this pond at the minute. Oh, yeah, we can go through that gate, can't we? Of course we can. Okay, let's drop this down. And over this side. I got an egg. Hoop. <laughs> ah, I've always wanted to do that. I've never like thrown it super high up in the sky and then it drops and a chicken comes out of it. I've never done that. Obviously, we've I've had chickens come out of eggs, but I, I want to do it from a really high one. It would look so funny. Okay, something like this, and then one there, and I think, oh, apart from around the back, I think that's all the sugar cane that I want to put down. I don't want to surround the whole thing in it, but I do want a lot of sugar cane around the area. Oops, one there, and that's perfect. That's like the perfect amount. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye.